So, hello, my name is Marie, Marie Travell, and I just thought I would run down quickly my personal top 10 Forever Living products. I do use more than this, but these are my favourite products that I just couldn't live without. Um, lots of people ask me, and I thought, I know, I'll do a video, so ta-da, ta-da. Okay, so first up, we have got... Ooh, can you see Forever Bright Tooth Gel? Um, I was really dubious about this when I got my test basket because aloe vera toothpaste or tooth gel really yes. and then I opened it oop, and I don't know if you can see oh the wrong way there we go it kind of looks the colour of seaweed and I was like oh, I am not cleaning my teeth with something from a plant that resembles seaweed and actually I did. I got over my funny seaweed thing and it does leave your teeth really, really clean and my teeth seem to stay, feel clean for a lot longer. So normally, for me, with normal toothpaste, I would get to the evening and my teeth would start to feel a bit furry and with this, my, my teeth don't feel that furry I hate it. Horrible. And also, you need a tiny amount. So, and it tastes minty and not like seaweed. So that's always a good thing. And next up, I actually thought everybody might was probably been paid lots of money to say this is their favourite thing, um, and I was really dubious about it. I tried it. I'm even more. I was even more dubious. Thought it was revolting. Anyway, aloe vera drinking gel. Um, first tasted it. Couldn't stand it. Tried the very aloe berry nectar drinking gel much preferred that but I've stuck with this one and actually I don't like the berry one now. I find it too sweet for me personally but my kids have decided that they must drink that so <laughs> we, we, we're a family of very diverse things with aloe but no I just find it I definitely notice if I haven't taken it it's just a gen for me a general overall I feel much better in myself general well-being um, Next up we have got, oh, this, let me see, oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. This is aloe. That's it, hand and face soap. There we go. Um, we literally use that in our house for everything. We use it as shower gel, um, shampoo, hand soap, washing your face. We even wash the dog with it because he has a skin condition. Um, he hates his bath but his skin and his fur is really nice afterwards. We wash the kids and the kids' hair with it. It's no more tears formula, so they're happy. My husband complains that we go through a lot of it. I was like, yes, but we do literally use it for everything in the house. Absolutely everything. And I love it. It's just really, really gentle, but really good. It'll shift, it'll shift grease off and panic hands. If you want to it's just grease off my husband's hands and he's been tinkering with the hair. Um, my husband uses it for shower gel and hair and shampoo just because he can't bother to crack around with lots of things. So I found it really, really good. Next up, we have got. Ooh, I don't even know what they are. Aloe Forever Shield Deodorant. It is a stick deodorant, so I was really freaked out by it. I'm, I was a massive follower of. Spray deodorants. I would never have anything but a spray. Didn't like sticks. Didn't like roll-ons. Didn't want with roll-ons. Didn't want to walk around my arms in the air while waiting for it to dry for ten minutes. Definitely, as a spray girl through and through, thought, mm, this isn't going to work. And I will say, I even still now go around sniffing my armpits just in case. But I've never had a problem. It's lovely, and it doesn't contain aluminium salt, which they have been linked in studies, not by forever, but independent studies, to, they can be linked to cancer, so I know that's quite a big thing for a lot of people, so I started using that, don't have so many armpits, so, <laughs> and it doesn't take ages to dry, it does, it took me out of my comfort zone, it freaked me out a bit, and started urging to go, but it's good, and I don't care. Next up, we have got, oh, this is possibly my top one, actually, aloe vera jelly, it's amazing. It is literally the, the middle of an aloe plant. I used to buy aloe fur plants and use 
use the middle of the leaves on ferns and I'm not desperately green fingered so I will kill my aloe vera plant so thank goodness we have it in a jelly you can see that it is literally just in a jelly my husband came in the house yesterday having been helping a friend move house and had been stung by a wasp ran in have you got anything for stings aloe jelly and it did he, he said it took the sting out I use it on ferns quite a lot because I am um, Bake cakes for a living, and I'm a bit of a disaster. At least I burn myself quite regularly. You can see, ooh, ooh, ooh. no, you can't see. I've got a massive burn on my arm. Um, I use it on that. It was really good. Use it on bikes if the kids get bitten. One of my daughters seems to have a sign on her forehead to all the mosquitoes saying "bite me." Um, I'm ready, and that just seems to take the itch out. Obviously, I won't say it's miracle cure. It's not. It's not medically proven. I don't think to everything but for us for me it helps quite a lot so next up we have got oh i'm a bit of a germaphobe in hospital constantly um using this because i really yeah, do not germ so i have this in my handbag all the time it's forever hand sanitizer little tiny bottle as you can probably see from the side of my hands the bottle in my handbag constantly so if you're out and about you take the girl the kids out and you want to wash the hands but you can't this stuff awesome um, and it doesn't dry it smells really nice it smells of hand sanitizer which I love uh, but it doesn't dry spin out this way this is actually oh quadless cream it's this I adore the smell it smells absolutely lovely but um, with that, I also carry it around, so you can see, in a little pump bottle in my handbag. I mainly use it on hands. I have very, very, very dry hands. From being a busy mum, I'm constantly washing up, doing the washing, whatever, back in the kids. But, but also because I have a cake business, I am constantly washing up, constantly washing my hands, constantly cleaning in my kitchen. So my hands just get very very sore in fact and that's a lovely rich cream that I, I can't, I'm constantly putting on my hands and um, my hands feel well like um, next up we have the nearly there we have got which I use in the morning to wash my face with the uh, forever aloe spray this I said about the colour the Too Faced thing that see this is like pale blue can you see uh, pale blue which I think is really cool. It's a really nice gentle scrub. Again, I have dry skin even on my face as well as my hands. And most scrubs are just too abrasive, too drying. In my, on my skin, I just feel like it's really dry and I have to kind of go for my faces afterwards because it's just so dry. And um, that's very gentle. It, it's gentle enough to use it every day. It doesn't really exfoliate, exfoliate the skin. But just give that gentle so my skin, my skin feels a lot brighter and a lot cleaner because of it. And I then follow that up with Hello Moisturising Lotion. Um, again for me, because I have very dry skin, this is much richer than the Aloe Lotion. Um, so I put this I put this everywhere. I, I put it on my I use it on my arms, my body, I use it on my face. I pretty much drown myself in it and if they built did a massive bottle of the stuff I would buy it. It's, I, I find it really really nice but I would say it's definitely if you've got dry skin and if you've got very oily skin you might need a clean a little bit lighter. So that's nearly 10 minutes worth of my top 10. Um, I hope that's helped a little bit but, but as I said they are just my personal top 10 of these and why I like them. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address and telephone number are below. And see you soon. Bye.